Lars, congratulations on becoming a member of the California Wrestling Hall of Fame. Thank you very much. Uh, obviously, you've been in wrestling for a, a long time, both as a competitor and as a coach. Uh, what individual stands out in your mind as the one that uh, was the greatest influence on you? Oh, well, I would say probably my brother. My brother, I'm a twin. My brother's, uh, you know, Thor Jensen, and mm -hmm. we wrestled. We've been wrestling since the womb, basically. We're twins, so mm -hmm. uh, he had the biggest influence on me. You know, built-in workout partner at home and on the mat, and rest, been wrestling with him for a long time. So, yeah, who who were your idols growing? Up? Oh, uh, probably our biggest idol, and you know, back in the '70s was Dan Gable. Everybody wanted mm -hmm. to be like Dan Gable, undefeated, and you know, till his last match in college, and you know, everybody wanted to wrestle like Dan. So, absolutely. Now I. Obviously, with a twin brother, you guys wrestled around. But what got you started in the officially in the sport of wrestling? Well, uh, we, our, we had an older brother that wrestled. wasn't very good. Mm -hmm. We called him Canvas back, but that's <laughs> beside the point. But uh, yeah, he I love that you mentioned. Yes, that, I I'm did. Sure. <laughs> but uh, he uh, basically, we were both out. For, we played a lot of baseball, and when we're in freshman year in high school at Millerathan High School, we were both out for the baseball team. Well, we had a couple friends that were on the freshman wrestling team at the time. And uh, they uh, asked us to come out, and we were out there the first time when we had a scrimmage, and we, very first day, didn't know anything about wrestling, and mm -hmm. beat both the guys from a rival high school. So he said, "Oh, this is pretty good. Let's try this out." And 37 years later, we're still doing this. Here you are, <laughs> and had a lot of success too. And uh, what do you attribute your success to in the sport? I think Honestly. just uh, you know, good. My parents uh, brought us up as a good work ethic. You know, uh, tr trying real hard. Um, you know, just trying to be get better all the time. I mean, uh, you know, it all comes from family, and I come from, from a large family of four brothers and one sister. So uh, we were competing all the time. We were competing at the dinner table, and uh, you know, in the in the house and playing ball and all those type of things. So we had a large family. So we were competing uh, all the time for uh, for various uh, attributes. So it taught you how to compete. Right. Yeah, at the dinner table. You yes. <laughs> then you get the food. Uh, what is the most outstanding memory or situation you have in the sport of wrestling? Well, obviously, it's uh, when we win our national championship in Division Two in Fargo, North Dakota, 10 feet of snow on the ground, and, uh, you know, not having any, any athletic scholarships, only being ranked six going into the nationals, and we win the Division Two national championship going away. That's my biggest memory. And, um, Hopefully we can do it again before I retire here in the next 10 or 11 years. Yeah, well, I sure hope so. It's an outstanding accomplishment. Uh, is there one match or one event other than the winning the NCAA championship that stands out in your mind? Oh, another event would probably be wrestling my brother when I was going to San Francisco State and uh, T.J. Kerr. Uh, I was going heavyweight at the time. T.J. Kerr put my brother up at heavyweights, and we had to wrestle each other in a dual meet. Oh, wow. and. Uh, I beat him two to one at the end, and then I had to drive him home. That's probably the biggest memory. <laughs> you talk about uh, not talking to each other for about two weeks. I beat him by a single point. That that match lasted for years. <laughs> I bet you probably still hear about it every holiday. Yes. Uh, why did you decide to become a coach? Well, I decided to become a coach um, because uh, I was originally was a business major. I didn't do very well in accounting my first semester in college. I changed my major, and I thought. Um, I wanted to, to coach and teach, and um, I had a big influence uh, on my life. I had a great uh, uh, high school coach, Coach Ben Parks, and um, he, I, I wanted to emulate and be like him. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's, it's amazing how many men say the very same thing. You right. know, that's how they got into it. Uh, obviously, your career isn't over, and uh, this next question, you know, for folks that... Uh, aren't so active, but uh, at this point in your career, is there anything that you do differently? I, uh, I am not on the mat as much. I used mm -hmm. to, I still show all the technique and the moves and all those type of things. I run, lift weights with them, but uh, this is the first year where I was only on the mat like five or six times. So I'm getting smarter. Mm -hmm. So I Absolutely. don't go home and uh, put the ice bags on and all that kind of stuff at 51. So. Yeah, I'm sure that's appreciated. Yes. <laughs> yeah. From what you've learned in wrestling, what, what aspect uh, can, has contributed most in your life? Do you think? Oh, I just think that uh, you know, just hard work and effort, and that uh, you know, wrestling doesn't get too much respect. Even it doesn't matter how well we do, but um, you know, in the long run, you know, uh, 
being successful is going to win out over all these other sports that, uh, you know, the footballs, the basketballs, the baseball that get all the glory. Where in wrestling, you know, we're working hard and, you know, you're coaching these kids. And, you know, the, the biggest thing is that, uh, you know, five years down the road, they go, Coach, you were kind of an SOB and stuff. And, you know, you made me do those extra things and you made me do the extra lifting and running and, and the wrestling. And, you know, they wouldn't be where they were. If it wasn't for what we did, you know, the good work ethic and building character and all those type of things. Oh, I agree. Now, the last question is kind of a loaded one. Uh, what would you like people to remember about Lars Jensen? Uh, that's uh, that's a good question. But the, the probably the biggest thing is that, you know, just a hard worker, um, you know, helped save San Francisco State three different times from, you know, the chopping blocks. Um, you know that uh, he was a successful coach in in all the things that a coach does, and that uh, you know he treated his athletes fairly, and that uh, you know continue the um, the legacy at San Francisco State, which is you know we have almost 70 years of wrestling there, and you know and I have almost half my life dedicated to that. So uh, you know whoever the next uh, su su successor to me is going to be is going to hopefully be in a in a good place and and um, those type of things. So. Well, you definitely accomplished a lot there. And uh, once again, congratulations for being inducted in the California Wrestling Hall of Fame. Thank you. You're welcome.